of times that he didn't like white people because uh, I guess maybe how he's been treated or maybe it's just how was, he was raised. So but, wait, all white, right. you, you all white is a derogatory thing to say? Just, no, just something he said like kind of like slightly because you're it kind of catches yeah. you off guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because you're hearing yeah. if you're just good doing like a yeah. base pass. Well, like it's hearing, it's, it's, instead right. of saying good job, he's saying fuck you. Yeah. 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 It's like, it's like when you hold the door open for somebody and they don't say thank you, and you just say, you're welcome! <laughs> really passive-aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm never that mean. I have to be right. passive-aggressive. I'm like, okay, well, there you go. Thanks. It's like I've seen, I've seen a video. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I've seen a video of somebody like uh, oh, holding a door open for a woman, and she just keeps walking, doesn't say anything, and it's just showing her walking away, and then you just see a shoe just hit her in the back of the head. <laughs> I would, she turns around real quick, super pissed off, and the, and the guy's going... He just turns around and walks away. What can you away. possibly do in this situation? <laughs> like, you have no recourse. Just, she knows what she did. He didn't have to say yeah. a word. It's not like, why didn't you say thank you? No, he didn't. I would didn't much rather uh, them just keep walking than me have to like wait for them. To so, say thank you? No, for, like, you know, I, if they just kept walking, I'd be like, okay, well, I have the door for somebody. That's yeah. fine. Well, here's but the thing. If I have to wait you don't, for them. You don't, need, you don't need the recognition, but it's the it, Soviet it, it, social not, contract. Not, like, why not? And that why you, you want somebody to always do that. Because if you do anything for anybody, you want there to be some recognition of that. Yeah. Uh, and so you want that idea to be entirely. I, I'd like I say I say thank you when people do it for me. Why aren't right. you? Yeah. Why aren't you? And that's that's where the issue comes. Okay. From. Yeah. Maybe we're, tell me the last time you held the door open for uh, an older guy. All the just time. Like, yeah, straight just like, like, like like an older. Like every day. Any any time any time. Every day. Of my any, job. Anytime, anytime day of my well, without having to, without being paid to do so. Anytime the opportunity. It, like, I always arises, I always open that. Wait, wait, okay. Now, I'll I'll just, I just hold it. I just hold it. I just hold the door open. And now, what right. kind of yeah. Yeah. what kind of response do you expect to get from them? I don't expect any kind of response. I expect a nickel for a pack of gum. I don't expect any response, <laughs> but what I no. want is somebody to say thank you. I would like I somebody to say thank you. you. But like, so, so the, <laughs> but yeah, if somebody just said fuck you, like right on you, man. So I'd be like, I yeah, got, I get it. I'm, I totally get I'm it. Strong Keep on. To open the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was gonna do it regardless, yeah. but <laughs> I understand, <laughs> sir. Continue I just, on. I, get, I usually get the the common response of like, if I hold up, thanks, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or yeah. Bud. just a solid nod. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. Good, a good, good, a good, good solid nod. Exactly, that's like a good tier. second of eye contact. And right. A, yeah, that's awesome. Eye contact fun. is like pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, even if if they don't make eye contact, that's fine. But when they make eye contact, like we could be. If friends. you can manage eye contact <laughs> with good. a stranger yeah. out in the world, fucking oh, hats yeah. off. Yeah. Like good people. Good yeah, people. Definitely. Right. If you don't say, <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't head nod people whenever they open a door for you. Fuck you. This podcast is not for you. Switch it off now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Keep watching. <laughs> Subscribe. Speaking of which, welcome to Fandom Nonsense. I'm Zach. I'm Aaron. I'm Coco. And I'm also Nolan. Yeah, I'm also Coco. Three episodes in a row. Sticking with that one. It's my tag, I guess. I feel bad because... It's incidental. I, luckily, I saved it saying also Nolan on it. Like, I know that we went in order, but, like, I haven't been here. And so, like, I feel like he should have gone. Like, no, maybe, it was Maybe perfect. that was, like... Yeah, okay, no, no, no he, needs nice. it, he was the one at the end, so he has to go last. It was the chocolate and the milk that made it the perfect snack. That's a lot of milk going on right now. <laughs> and then, and then uh, I'm not you don't have like, like yeah, you know, two parts chocolate, two parts <laughs> milk. Like that, you're drinking syrup at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I mean, such way too much. It's just, oh, it's so strong. Even quarter chocolate's pretty, pretty damn strong. <laughs> Welcome to how they quarter, cast us out. Quarter black. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right we're a band. <laughs> we're a band. We're an acapella we're, group. Yeah. My name. We're a quarter black. <laughs> we are quarter black. He's the he's the quarter here. I'm the quarter. <laughs> We know this. Okay, so. so. Oh my god. Well, uh, I guess we'll start this week with the first word. No one, tell us more about RVD season 15. How season far you've 15. made it. Uh, I like that we've got in the doppelganger thing, and they did it for everybody. It wasn't just like focused in on one specific. I like that there's also not a Griff mm. doppelganger mm -hmm. leading into the uh, Griff mm. subplots in which he has left the group. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. You know, does it make you does it make you question that at all? Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. it makes me think that Griff isn't supposed to be there. Like, he wasn't a Sims trooper. That's, oh, that's an interesting take. Whoa. Like, I find, I think that's really cool. Because, I mean, that's... Now, remember, I'm away. episode 12. Okay. Yeah. I, I, think it's very, I think it's very interesting that I, I actually didn't grasp the, the, the thought that this Griff, the... Uh, the blue versus red Griff? The, the blues, yeah. yeah, the blue versus red Griff was... 
not there at the same point in which Griff wasn't, you know, with doing. They wasn't there. Sub, it was having his own subplot, you know, and yeah. Yeah. I didn't really like put the two together mm-hmm. at that point. I was just kind of more intrigued about what was happening. Is, uh, is the moment well, Sarge, it. the two the, sarges, the two sarges having the, yeah. yeah, they're having that conversation. Yeah. Sarge and they're like, Surge. And they're like, oh, oh man, so where's your Griff? What's a Griff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's right. You don't have an orange. Good thing. Fucking <laughs> nobody needs an annoying orange in their life <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Fucking yeah, but Griff has always been my favorite of the main cast. Oh yeah, yeah. so I like that they're changing it up. And when he did leave, I was like, "There's no way this is gonna be." You know, uh, I I felt. I mean, well, Jeff Jeff, uh, went on a sabbatical, and uh, he said he might not come back. Like that's the guy that does the voice. Right, like six months, nine months. So he might six months come back. Oh, sober. I'm I can't tell you if he does or not. But I think it's been yeah. six to nine even, months. Even now. saying like, that, yeah, though, he's, he's sober, you right? got to, like, Simmons, why is he even around? There's no Griff. Because <laughs> there's the not thing. a Simmons without a Griff, and there's not a Griff without a Simmons. Like, you need right. them together. And they're in a broom straight closet. man fucking weirdo. <laughs> they're like Evan Costello. Talk about it, no? No, the, the subject, <laughs> change it. <laughs> no, and, and surprisingly, like, immediately with that episode, I was like, cool, Griff's getting development this season. Even if you're not seeing him, like, that's still development. Right. But. Immediately, it was like, oh shit. Just by extension of Griff not being there, Simmons is actually getting development this season. Yeah, mm-hmm. he is too. I mean, yeah. like their own he says he's he, he says he doesn't think of himself the way that Gene is being portrayed, yeah. which is the same as he has. Yeah, even down to Gus is the only one who's playing his doppelganger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is they have the amazing. same. It's like that's, yeah, that's a weird thing plot like on that. its own. Like Gus is playing his doppelganger. Like he they understands are the same person. Yeah. They yeah. literally are. I like the fact that it's Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't notice that until like the, the like fourth or fifth pass yeah. over that line to where they're like, I'm not I'm not Simmons, I'm Gene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they all have they all have like a weird like uh uh donuts is cronut. Cronut mm-hmm. is another type of pastry. Yeah. Uh Sar- Surge. Surge is just kind of dumb. Surge, I feel like it, because Sarge that was lazy. is such a... Like, no, they I, needed to be because Sarge is such a prototypical character. That, it is very like, true. If, very how do you change that also? <laughs> yeah. like, you give it a different voice. I mean... <laughs> yeah. The no. only way you can uh, also do it is to have him have like another like title, like another rank as yeah. his name, like Cap or something yeah, like that. Yeah, just say call him Captain. Or, but but yeah. they, they needed to be the same rank. So yeah. I mean, yeah, so... That was the only, their only reason. I mean, that, that could have been the thing. Uh, what is Sarge now? Colonel? He's a Colonel. Super Colonel. Super yeah, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, what's your name? Super Colonel. <laughs> what, what's your rank? Super, Super Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Super Colonel. <laughs> That's what my mom calls me. Sarge. And your name? I just told, I told you. you. <laughs> the one Daddy thing told me I you're... wanted to get into about season 15, I can't because right now I'm so sorry so be here next week yeah. be here next week yeah, I will have it done week. I'm, I'm I will have it so. I will maybe have day 5 done too because it only takes I about will. 12 hours of your life oh away. my god <laughs> <laughs> a half a day what should I do oh god I mean I'm dude saying. it's been balls to the wall <laughs> I get that no I get that you got a lot of For stuff a, while. a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on a lot of, a lot of balls cooking. in the air and they're on the walls it's just it's too much balls everywhere I can't handle or are they on the wall which one they're in the air and on the wall that's why it's an issue just staring at the wall that's if it was one or the other, things it would be fine. It was one or the other. But they're just everywhere. I can juggle. <laughs> I can hold things up against a wall. You tell me to do both, and I'm at a loss. <laughs> Scratch your head, pat your belly. <laughs> I can do that shit. Yeah, yeah, we tried this before. Scratch your oh, yeah, head, I can do that. Yeah, that's your belly. Now, that's the time. one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, and I may have a bit of a personal no. bias here, but Aiden Illinois, just from his description... Maybe my favorite freelancer. Talking ever. about the guy Absolutely. that lived by, by himself. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's somebody that beach. I would love to have seen. Yeah. The guy that lives on the yeah. beach, drinks rum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just just his backstory of just he wasn't in it for an like for an AI yeah. or to to rank up. It was just a job that he was doing to just yep. get his money, retire, and live the rest of his life out. Like that's it's something I want to know. Which. Is yeah. What were you saying? No, please. No, please. Oh, mine was, mine was, uh, was, was into a theory of like the the Carolina idea. Like it's just specifically Carolina, and I still want to know if she's north or uh, or south. I think that I think that she's what well, the that original like, the brother theory. There's yeah. yes. God. Yeah, he hates it. I fucking he hates any theory though. But we don't know how many. <laughs> we don't know how. Okay, was there at all a map that shows? I know Florida is not there anymore. I know that much for sure, but like, what other? Is there any other states that aren't there in particular? 
I imagine anything like I'm um, not in the central. You US. usually imagine that the coast is just gone. Probably. It, no, the only, only one that's gone is Florida because there are 49 okay. states. They okay. say that yes. specifically. Right. Okay. There might. I lean towards, and there's a bit of a retcon with the way that it played out, but I, I lean towards um, Carolina is both because she had Ada and Iota. Yeah, she had both. But she was not but she was not scheduled to have both. And that's why I say I there's a, I'll say there's that's what I, that's the retcon that I have a problem with as well. But if there is another Carolina, if she's north or south. There's no reason to believe it's a sibling, and that's way too convoluted at what, this point to bring into the story. What if right. it's an uncle? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God damn I'm you. joking. I'm joking. What if it's a third cousin twice <laughs> removed? Oh, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> a wrench in the twice whole cook machine. Love twice Who's removed. Love twice removed. Love twice removed. It's Valentine's Day. Mini Carnival. I just, I'm really, I'm really interested in that idea. And I, I had told Aaron, um, that I, I tried for a while on his tangent about how like whenever oh god whenever uh, well whenever, talking about uh, uh, epsilon yeah whenever epsilon broke up broke up season thirteen mm-hmm. he went into everybody because uh, remember uh, uh, what was O'Malley Don't. when they referred to him <laughs> as O'Malley he was able to just go through the radio signals right and I understand that he broke up and and only like used them as the like. Thoughts. They weren't real AI parts. They mm. were just him recognizing them as parts of himself. Yeah. I just I had this deep belief that maybe he had separated himself yeah. and kind of gave himself away. I, mm. I wanted to I wanted to believe in the deep frag theory at mm-hmm. first when mm-hmm. season thirteen first came out. Um, but the more I looked at it and thought about it, first of all, not all the AI can can jump from host to host. That was something right. Um, Alpha and Omega could do, and Epsilon yeah. eventually picked it up from his memory of Omega, and it yeah. still gave him a massive headache every time he had to do it. Yeah. But what about the idea uh, of so something So it's like, not that... So the fragments can't all jump from host to host, and, like you said, they aren't real. They're just his thoughts and his memories right. of the other ones. Okay, That's now what I told you. Now, yeah. there was one in the Rooster Teeth uh, Facebook uh, page the, that they oh, were discussing God. the theories. The, the, <laughs> I hate the, that thing. The fucking Sarge thing. Where Sarge had died and he'd gone ghost form. Oh yeah, yeah. About <laughs> how, how is recovery so- mode? <laughs> he was in recovery mode by season eight revelation on DVD. Put on the commentary. Listen to Bernie fucking tell you it's goddamn recovery mode. You fucking idiot. Go on. I was just interested in that thought, but I you think fucking the point's idiots. been made. Please go on. I think the point's been made. Uh, I am also one of you, so <laughs> take it over. That's perfectly fine. Oh, God. <laughs> I liked that idea, but if it weren't for the fact that I already I saw it, that, right. I, I've already heard the fact that he is in recovery mode. I mean, because if you look at it in uh, in season eight, whenever they're in recovery mode, the, the quality of the background and everything is somewhere around the exact same. As it, that, was, like, as it is in that, out. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's all washed out, almost black and white kind of feel to it. So it's different. That's like that. That's the way that it went in that as well. Like you can tell a similarity between the two. And they're hmm. probably intentionally doing it. Like eight. To be instead like, of just oh, calling people you. assholes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking why, idiots. Why not make a point? <laughs> 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 why not make point. a point real quick about it instead of just call, <laughs> just straight calling you out like, hey, motherfucker, you suck, <laughs> stupid asshole, getting shit wrong. Again, emotional intelligence of Bernie Mertz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one, honestly, that's one of my favorite things about Red vs. Blue is how, like, horribly, like, not horribly, but just uh, haphazardly everything is put together in one through five, and then, like, since <laughs> then they've everything. gone back to just... Yeah. And it's still, to this day, like, up to... There's not much in 15, honestly, you know, even making complaints at 15 yeah. kind of throws a wrench in season 14 a little bit, but even up to season 14, oh. like, there's still, isn't, like... Isn't season 14 just Vic's standpoint in it all? No. No, 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 I mean... Well, it's like, just random 14, spots 14, of the, the, the entire yeah. Red versus Blue universe. Yeah. Yes, but it's well, all... I'm, I'm talking about things like, like, like the origin... It's all from a, it's all from a multiverse theory. Uh, well, right, talking... but he's, he's not... He's not like telling his own interpretation. No, no, I, Vic. Yeah, he's just like I know, but he's pulling, just, from, he's pulling different stories, yeah, different yeah. files, and everything. Else. Yeah, right. that he knows because he's in the main hub. Oh, so, right. it's, it's, so he's recorded multiple universes of Red versus Blue, and this is yeah. the this is like the all these the all Vic. 
Yeah. Like the All King. <laughs> this is the All Vic telling these stories where there's multiple universes of Vic. Of Vic. There's the one true Vic. <laughs> the god of Vicks, got, if you will. Got the eye, they yeah. Seen it. <laughs> Which is really just Bernie. <laughs> it is Bernie. No, but that's no. Yeah, what I'm saying is just like all the all Vic is just Bernie in front I'm of aware. Fucking... I'm sorry. I'm aware. You know, I was I was talking about the Origins trilogy. Like like the one through three? One okay. two through four Oh yeah, 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 two through four, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Like even I mean, that the, the live action episode, honestly. Oh yeah, yeah that, that was great. Uh, but I, but that's been out since season six. What are you talking about live action? The, uh, not live action, I'm sorry, the animated. Yeah. The, the full animated episode, the 2D animated episode. It's still part of the season. I know. That's been, that's been out since, that's been out since And it hasn't been public. It's only been on, like, for, I don't even think it's been for sponsors, it's only been on the reconstruction. I bet you you could have found it on YouTube. Yeah, wait. you found it on YouTube because people fucking ripped it, but officially released. Okay, oh, wait, fair, wait, enough, fair, we, enough, fair we, enough, fair enough. Are we talking about the episode where it's, uh... Fucking Griff it's Simmons. Griff Simmons in church, church. Yeah. and they're okay. in a yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. they're it's a level zero, and they need to make it to level one hundred, right, yeah. and ties and church is, to the rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and Griff is trying to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. The door. Keeps going. how do I close this door? Yeah. And they start getting like their asses kicked by a whole bunch of grunts because right. they're punks. <laughs> Jesus. Griff just I really, shit. Get but at, at the same time, I still shit I, kicked out of it yeah. by a fucking grunt. Like grunt is like ground and pound, <laughs> yeah. punching yeah. Griff he sa- in he the fucking face. He says something to him. He calls him a bitch or something. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, the grunts are talking shit. Yeah, they talk time. mad shit to him. <laughs> just like you're not, you're not that like fucking camo green guy. We're gonna beat that shit out of you. Right. What are you, orange and maroon? Fuck. And then Trish Kick has a ass. fucking weird like confrontation with himself. That's what I was going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, no, like that part of the episode, I super enjoyed. That was a yeah. that episode was originally written by Bernie, and then uh, Miles added in that last part to make it just another memory of the Epsilon unit whenever yeah. it was inside. Of, yeah, because he was trying. Yeah, yeah. And just when like, they see, it, it was basically end, yeah. a part of season nine without it being yep. a part of season That's nine, great. which yeah. is a really really cool concept and really something u- unique to uh, to that whole Epsilon thing is you can have. An endless number of stories right. in the in the epsilon unit. Mm-hmm. There's no telling how many iterations he went through before he finally got to the one that, you know, that ended up. Yeah, the critical point. Yeah, the critical exactly. point. Yeah. yeah, like the gender swapped episode. You mm-hmm. can call that one canon because it's an it's an epsilon yep. memory thing. Yeah. Like, so you can. That's a really fun playground to play in, and still call it like part of the actual that's universe. A, that's a playground I'd like to play in. Yeah, That'd absolutely. Be fun. I would like to write my own uh, Blood Gulch universe thing. Ah, by far. I'm good. I'm good at catching myself on spoilers. So it's, I'm oh, uh, for season fifteen. Thank you. Well, we're about Thank to, you. We're about yeah, to so move, much. We're don't. about to move on from. I from appreciate fi- it. From fifteen <laughs> here in a second. As the universal baby to <laughs> Rooster Teeth, I appreciate your candor. You're welcome. <laughs> Tried. Um, I have good news for you, Aaron. I good news for me. I like good news. The okay. Last Jedi. Is complete. Finally, episode eight oh, news. All right, good news. Maybe news. The Might final, news. the final trailer is expected to drop on Monday Night Football. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> am I the only one here that likes football? Yes. No, in America, I mean, pretty I, much right now. I like, I like. Football. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah, football is <laughs> wrong. I like football as a concept. It's fun to play with your friends and shit. Yeah, I don't, it's I don't not fun like yeah, 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 see, yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a doer. I'm a doer, not a shower. Like, like, I'd rather. I'd rather I'd rather watch watch her, manhandle some watch dudes her, than watch, watch it on TV. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nothing like some good old touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just looking away, and then I heard you say that it was like, wait, what now? <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, I like that it's airing during Monday Night Football because if I'm not, if what I might be airing, uh, airing. They said airing, <laughs> airing during <laughs> Monday was, Night Football. I really like that it's airing during Midnight Football. Uh, uh, during, was it the? Sh- it was Monday Night Football that the no, it was probably uh, the Super Bowl. I remember what about it was the during a football oh, yes, game. The Super Bowl. The, the Halo, yeah. the Super the Halo Bowl. Three the trailer. Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. You remember that Halo, the Halo Three trailer where he like gets up off the ground and he drops the the. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the very yeah. that would that premiered during a football game, I believe. I thought it was maybe was mm, it the, the Rose Bowl? Bowl it might have been the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, the uh, orange Bowl? When did Halo maybe. Three come out? <laughs> Halo 3 came out 10 years ago. Today. I know it was uh, 10 years ago today. Yes. Well, the, no. Super, the Super Bowl would never happen today. Halo yes, 3 exactly. was the Halo well, I played the most. Well, that's why I say that there was a sure. trailer for it, not the actual game. I'm saying that there was the, the yeah. trailer area, and that was something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Is that like that was a reason. That trailer was awesome. I only watched that game because I wanted to see the Halo 3 trailer that was supposed to drop during mm. that game. And so 
it was like that South Park episode where they just keep the watching. Uh, oh, for the shit. Yeah, for, yeah. The, for them to say the shit time. in there. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 And they so watched like. the entire <laughs> episode, and there's nothing but commercials, commercials, commercials. That's pretty much how it felt. Was I'm waiting. Like when is it? When is it? Come on, come on. Well, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Get up, and start running around the room. That that trailer was. Oh, so awesome. good. So good. You remember that too? What? Um, is that the one where there's the chasm? He, it's it's Chief just basically yeah, runs yeah. up to it and it pulls right, up right, on right. top of him like that. That was a really cinematic. I mean, he's, he's in the sand, didn't he? Yeah, like somewhere yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, a, like in a dry world. land. But he's yeah. like when he goes running, he runs in the, to the edge. Yeah, of the he thing. jumps yeah. and then there's a whole bunch of brutes all out uh-huh. in the all out spread out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I love that trailer. He dropped that bullshit so hard. I'm telling you. That's a weird time thing that to say. A that's a weird thing to say. For, yeah, no. That's <laughs> a weird thing to say for somebody to do like so incredibly hard. Like, oh my god. He dropped that bubble shield so hard. Uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> as, as a Halo the word bubble and the Halo phrase fan. so hard in the same <laughs> <laughs> sentence bubble is just so a little hard. Shaky. Those uh, bubbles I mean, are so hard, man. I mean the bubble gun is <laughs> so hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Episode eight just released, or not? Well, not just released, but the trade. Uh, God damn it! Just said that it was finished. <laughs> yes, I was. I was getting there. Episode guys. eight is released now. I'm fucking no, rushed. Whatever. Just say, just say <laughs> it's out. No wait, it's almost out. Wait. The trailer. The trailer. Yeah. Something. Uh, something. Uh, 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 uh. Helium has to go inside of something before it can lift off the ground. Like, is there like a certain? It's a, it's like a, a like something. It's a volume to weight ratio. Yeah. So it's like it, like a stone. That's uh, what, like say if the stone was hollow, it's obviously really heavy. Would how I much be able mass to is it? Fill it wouldn't be as heavy since it's not yeah. hollow, or since it is hollow. Yes, but I mean, okay. So well, the idea <laughs> concept wise, I'm not actually saying. Well, literally, I'm not like saying man. literally. I'm sorry. I'm just I got what are you really after. I man, really, really want to be on your page right now. I was starting, <laughs> I was starting to think about the bubbles hitting people in the face, <laughs> and I just really wondered about like. What it would take to make bubbles that were solid enough to hurt, but light enough to float. <laughs> so like Holy a, shit! Like, They'd have to be of a super, like uh, a super light, um, but, uh, yeah, heavy yeah, metal. Yeah, yeah, mad scientist eyes okay. going on right now. Nola. <laughs> <laughs> you know if you can see all of them, the whites of my eyes, plus iris and pupil, here's the point I'm getting at. If it's a metal that is super dense enough without having a lot of weight to it. Perhaps like a uh, I don't know like an alloy of some kind yeah, of yeah. Uh, uh, maybe some a, kind of a, titanium a perhaps so, something something like a, like how airplanes <laughs> are made like whatever the thickness of whatever an airplane's made airplanes of airplanes are it's giant still, okay well okay. yeah I know exactly they're so easy to break but at the same time they they can still hold <laughs> hundreds of people like <laughs> no, but, a, like a carbon yeah yeah, fiber? yeah 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 like a carbon fiber yeah in bubble form. Here's what you do. You Wait, could you imagine blowing bubbles of carbon fiber? That'd be so well, cool. Well, now I That'd know. be so cool. <laughs> you di- you'd got your liquid carbon fiber. You dip your little stick in there. <laughs> and you blow into it. And then <laughs> you got some light carbon fiber bubbles that when they pop are going to sting like <laughs> you mother- yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Asked <laughs> and answered. Thank you very much. I am super wondering about that. Anyway, yeah, so the episode uh, 8 trailer, that it seems super... October 9th. October 9th. Okay, so during Monday Night Football? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. That's, well, October's right. going to be so good. October 9th is... Uh, that's two days after. That's 8th. 8th is whenever it's super... It's 7th for us. It's 8th. October's one of my favorite days. months for the same. season. My birthday. Top 12. My birthday is in, in October. My parents' anniversary. I think I'm the only October baby here. Yes, yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah. My mom. <laughs> nice. Sorry, oh, she's only... <laughs> she's down here. Your parents didn't get to fucking until after Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. It's obviously true. (laughs) Thanks, Nolan. Appreciate the facts, bro. That's why I'm here. Good, good, good. So, is it just me or is it? Is this cutting it a little? I mean, obviously it's good. It's it's done. It's wrapped. But it seems to be cutting it a little bit close. Like they for a just, December release. Oh they yeah, no, but they, they had to get it finished because if they didn't get it finished, they're not going to be on track for the rest. Well, of they the having trouble with it every year. They're supposed to have. Well, I mean, Solo it, and Star, and let's let's keep in mind that the original Star Wars movies, uh, four through six and one through three, were three year productions. Every single one of them, mm. like they are. Huge well, fucking production. The main yeah. ones. Well, I mean, at that the, point in time, it took a lot more work. I mean, it still takes the, same, it takes the same amount of work to get that kind of shit well, done. And the they're shooting on film stock. <laughs> right, but okay. What, what you're saying is that it took more time. Take, 
to do. All right. It's a lot easier to do the work that they're doing in a Star right. Wars movie right. now than but it what, is. What, what they're what they're trying to do is to do well, the okay. same amount of work. Yeah. With a different level of technology. Really? Well, so, also four four through six I mean, had a much it's a lot less work with new technology studio. Right. What I'm saying is that they're, they're now, trying to Disney, push the technology. Yeah, Disney has yeah. Okay. So all right. Much right. mass of money but that I mean, they're able. Yeah, to but there's still like up the production. Faster. Yeah, but it's it's the it's the time factor of yes. of shooting and building sets I mean, and all of all of that and scouting and everything that I goes mean, in, yeah. into it. So. Like it's a huge fucking production. Right. I'm surprised they're able to do. Have him turn over so so quickly. I mean, mm. obviously well, the uh, the saga films are different, like production schedule than the right. well, anthologies, but still, it's like, about like a two year, at least two years. Yeah. So like, I mean, we're put, it's every the gap one. So it's still like, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's pushing it like and I'm really it's, hard. To it's get there. a little bit scary. Like it might not turn mm. out as well yeah. as yeah. it should. Yeah. yeah. But like at, at this point, I mean. If they had pushed it, as much as I hate to say it, they push it back to a, to a May release or something, that mm. extra six months. No, they can't could, do it. They got to do Christmas. Done it. It's yeah. got to be Christmas type yeah. thing. It's got to even be though it was always May. Yeah. Mm. And then the episode nine was supposed to come out in May of twenty nineteen. Yeah, twenty nineteen, and then they got pushed back to December again. Maybe they did which market is, which research. Is for the, yeah. For the which is for the best as far as like giving the movie time, but yeah. still like, be nice to have another. Star Wars movie in, in May since that was tradition. But then again, midnight premieres are dead, so what does it yeah, matter? You yeah. can't seven o'clock premieres now. <coughs> yeah. and Which that's like every, why is everybody so fucking lazy now? <laughs> I'm not trying to get out of the house. Mid, yeah, back at, back in the day, oh, I'd wait. Try. I'd wait in line for a movie or a video game or something like that. Now it is. Like, you know, I could wait because internet cool, like, families now. Download. Also, I'm yeah. gonna be able to. Oh, I'm gonna true. be able to see the movie like the day before or that day on the internet. I mean, yeah. Uh, not in this house, you won't. <laughs> no, no, not here. Not here. Fuck I'm not even talking about her internet. I'm not, I'm not watching the cam. Oh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Like I remember, like, I remember, I remember talking about Abby just the cameras. Abby files were the worst thing ever back mm-hmm. in the days of oh, yeah. illegally downloaded movies. Like, some, like, fucking party yeah, some guy, motherfucker. Some guy <laughs> sitting with his camera like this. Just like, Get your blood sugar in line before you start to fucking <laughs> film. <laughs> a bootleg version. Do <laughs> you know how hard it is just to eat popcorn and film Michael a movie J. Fox. at the same yeah. time? Uh, like goes and videotapes all those movies. Yeah, oh, that's, what that's exactly it is. what it is. That's what the Michael J. F- uh, Fox Foundation is really, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Every time <laughs> you give money to them, <laughs> and they, to like, it goes straight to <laughs> shaky cam footage of a. That's how we got <laughs> unreleased movie. It's, it's Michael J. Fox and Michael Bay making making like fucking bootleg movies for people. Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. <laughs> it's like Mike and Ike, but less candy. Less candy. Less sweet. I mean, it's just as much candy. <laughs> the blood sugar is the only issue. <laughs> I can't remember. The, 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 the bridge that get, always gets blown up in movies. What's the bridge that always gets blown up in movies? It's the big red one that goes... Uh, oh, Terabithia? The, uh, the, the, no, the Golden, the Golden Gate. Gate? Yeah, in, the Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that yeah. was in... Uh, it's the one like in the X-Men and yeah, stuff like that? Exactly yeah, 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 X-Men. yeah. 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 Hey, Shaq. How's it going at the Golden Gate Bridge, my dude? Wow, Shaq. I sure hope you can swim. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good to be back. Shaq can probably swim. I don't know. He's pretty dense. But um. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What 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 were we talking about before we left? It was. Uh, we definitely. I don't give a shit. Let's so, talk about Super. <laughs> you talking about Dragon Ball Super? I'm talking about Dragon Ball <laughs> Super. <laughs> now the only reason what? they refer to it as Dragon Ball Super is because there are now the existence of Super Dragon Balls. I don't know if you'll. Yeah. Know oh yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> now these Dragon Balls, according to, spoiler alert, the most recent episode, have mm. the ability to kill gods. Exactly. It was offhandedly mentioned. It's it like way so way. way stronger than little old baby Shinron. W- yeah. Little old baby, I can't bring you back to life more than once, and I can't make oh, you. He can go fuck I'm himself Shinron. at this point. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what is, I'm the super dragon. I'm super Shenron. 
Um, oh, oh, the size of a fucking universe. Yeah, now, like, now Shinron's basically like Krillin. Yeah, basically. Right. That is the <laughs> essence of Dragon Ball, is that <laughs> it's just constant I'd power speed. No, 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 Dragon. No, no. Shen, Shenron, is, <laughs> Shenron is Yamcha, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what's Purunga. with, uh, Purunga, yeah, Purunga, it would be Krillin, okay, because Purunga is at least so better you, than you just Yamcha. called Shinron Yamcha? I did. Oh, God. Well, okay, mm. he's, he's the he, Yamcha of dragons well, Think this about point. this, he was a really, really interesting character, right. but then, like, did they had to remake him after he like came back to life. He can suddenly grant two wishes, but his power level's been stepped down in comparison right. to everything else that's going on around yeah, him. Yeah. So I'd say he's very much so Yamcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you see is Succinct. just a fucking long ass Shinron laying in the ground with <laughs> <Yeah>. Cyberman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh Shinron. I have very much so enjoyed this entire Universal oh, tournament. Yeah. It has been a good thing. What is it? Uh, was it 45 minutes or an hour long? Like It's a round. 48. 48 minutes. The tournament. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 48 minutes, yeah. And they are down to 29. 29 minutes left. I have, <laughs> I have mixed <laughs> feelings. Surprising, right? 12 right. episodes or 15 yeah. episodes later. Makes sense. I have mixed feelings about the tournament. Um, and yeah. this episode actually kind of highlighted them a little bit for me. Your problems? Yes. Mm. Um... <laughs> Kind of a jumbled. Uh, I mess. mean, yeah. it's it's always a goddamn jumble. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dragon Ball. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. many it has been the since the story of Goku. Goku. It has. Oh gosh, here we go. But uh, we're not getting into that <coughs> right now. We'll see if we get to that conversation. <laughs> but um, no, like I really like the because like my biggest complaint with the Universe Survival Arc, which also spoilers if you don't know, Dragon Ball Super takes place between. The end of Boo. End of Boo <coughs> and the end of Z. Which was yeah. a year? Ten years. It's a ten year gap mm. between the end of Boo and the end of Z. That's yeah. a lot of content. There's a lot of no, content. That's, so oh, no, content. I'm saying Super that takes place. Super takes place. Uh, the, the start of Super is like a, two years after Dragon Ball it de- Z. It depends on. Or after the Boo saga? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to remember which was the. Because the sub well, and dub are different on when. I think it's about six it, months to a year. According yeah. to them right now, <laughs> Oob is presently five years old. Mm-hmm. And okay. so Oob is yeah. the reincarnation, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Spoilers. So him being <laughs> five years. <laughs> yeah, if you're not like 20 years <laughs> behind everybody else. Uh, the uh, the idea, that, like the fact that they even mentioned Boo goes to show that. Oob? Oob, sorry. Yeah. Oob, is that, yeah, that shows that they are, are planning on ending at the same point. No, and it's, it's been confirmed recently by Toei that that is the ending yes. point. Did they, like, they, they, they yes. he actually can yes, confirm it? The, yeah, the biggest thing multiple times. that I like to think about and mention is that at the end of Z, whenever he is fighting Oob, and Oob finally starts developing his power and kicks Goku straight into the arena, mm-hmm. Goku comes out of the arena hovering, and when he comes up hovering, the pieces of the earth are hovering around him in his white aura. Not his, mm-hmm. like, I've gone powerful and like have to now gravity is affected by me right. but I'm just so powerful that the literal pieces of the stage are just floating with me yeah. I'm like right. just flying up in the air like hey what's up but he's see, so dense that he has these is, bubbles yeah, yeah. that are gonna fire <laughs> like off. a carbon <laughs> fiber <laughs> yeah. but because we know how the story ends right then we already know how the, this then the stakes are pretty yeah they're pretty much less like we know that universe 7 is going to survive this and they're going to be fine like, we um, already no. knew that, though. We, okay, of course, but like, it's, if, it's a shonen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you could have, there could have been at least the potential of tension if we didn't have that already like mapped out for us. No. So for me, uh, the survival arc has been the compelling thing has been Universe Six more than anything. I okay. love the yep. Saiyans from Universe Six, and that's yep. what's really drawn me in. Nice. But with this last episode, there was finally something with Universe Seven. I was like, okay, this could be interesting. Like. Free, like my idea is like what if Frieza's like trying to become like if not the god of destruction maybe well, even like the, the Omni Super King god, himself yeah, yeah. like exactly now my go ahead but and here's where I got, I got pissed off <laughs> I'm like oh cool like this is what you expect from yeah. Frieza cool this creates tension in universe 7 this is what we need and then they subverted the end where oh I was just I was just playing along mm, this yeah. is a joke the whole now, but I mean what if that's, that's what, but if they flip that around then that's just fucking convo- even more convoluted so it would be just, using to get their trust to be closer to them in the midst of them using that wish okay but with the Frieza m- has the line trust no one when he's betraying Frost right yeah so that leads me to believe that it's still in it's still, uh, the it's realm of possibility that which is which is just another reason why I 
I have a problem with things like bringing in long lost brothers or something. It's just it's bad writing. It's yeah. just it's just throwing it in there just to um like just Move to create a line. twist. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It's not a real twist. Yeah, it's, it's not, not yeah. It's just it doesn't something. affect the main plot line. Yeah, so that's something that uh, uh, That really disappointed me because I was really looking forward to when I saw the preview and everything of like the, there being like the rest of the team having to look over the shoulder for the rest of the yes. tournament because of that, Frieza and everything. Okay, from the very beginning of the introduction of Frieza to the team, it, um, the original idea was that it was going to be Boo. They even had an whole mm-hmm. episode where Boo got mm-hmm. fit. I and really wish that. Yeah. Yes, excellent, excellent. Boo falling asleep, of course, classic Boo. Right. Them going to Frieza and saying that, and him like suggesting the idea there the limit on time there's only like nine other planets out there with habitable life that right. are worth a damn and yep. there's no time to get them so let's just go with the first idea freeze is a great idea we already had him as a plot point previously uh in this in this new uh yeah. anime uh but from the point that they grabbed him it was it was the idea that he was just going to abandon it he was just already out the door but then he destroys, he was even threatening to kill, he held in uh, the God of Destruction's power and like showed that he's stronger than them, he doesn't need them. Right. And so, well, him, go ahead. I, I still feel like Beerus is like. That's, the, that's see, okay, so Super Beerus Saiyan. Is what? Beerus' uh, perspective on all this is that he could destroy Frieza. Absolutely, at yeah. any point he wanted. Right. But if he did have the hands on the Super Dragon Balls and was granted his wish, the Zeno is going to make sure of that. And he's not going to let anything stop him from making that wish. Now, I, I don't know. It, of course, can be like, you know, ex machina or whatever, that he doesn't allow Frieza to make the wish to kill Zeno himself. Hmm. But he can, as, as all a certainty, delete Beerus if he wanted to. Right. But yeah. Frieza could? Frieza well, could. Yeah, make the if wish. he gets, yeah, the super. If, yeah, oh, well, yeah, if, if he gets but that's it, only yeah. if he's the prime winner of the. Sorry, I keep hitting the table. Prime winner. I, of the uh, tournament, so if he's going to do so, it's, it's he's going to have to take down Jiren himself, and Jiren is. Uh, I mean, unless somebody standards. else gets Jiren off the stage beforehand, and I doubt that'll happen because there was a Dragon Ball Heroes trailer that launched, and it showed um, Vegeta, Frieza, and Goku all standing looking at Jiren, and then it just showed Goku going up against Jiren. So, you know, giving you the idea that both because Frieza went first up against him, and whenever mm-hmm. he went, that's when it just showed Goku, like basically showing that these are going to be the last standing, and they're going to lose out. Right. And that being said, Jiren is a warrior of justice, so nothing says justice. that he <laughs> justice. <laughs> so nothing says that his wish wouldn't. Yeah, can be I get a coke? Bring... Just ice? Justice? <laughs> <laughs> just to bring back. To- Tobo, turn it around real quick. <laughs> <laughs> justice? Whoa. I want to see him. Thanks. Maybe, uh. <laughs> maybe they lose. You know, maybe all the other universes get eradicated, and then Jiren makes his wish to bring back all the other universes instead of it being Goku. You know, oh. which is a potential, but yeah, I, doubtful. Yeah. Of it's, it's doubtful. Um, which I don't know. I'd like to see Goku not win. Of course, mm-hmm. actually. I like, mean, you know, he's not won. be somebody else several yeah. times. Yeah. Go- Goku's well, only won one tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ash Ketchum, who's never won one. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Way to bring the feels. Yeah, man. I, I would like to see. The, okay. i like to see Frieza win I would, I would like to see. Do you remember how all the gods shuddered whenever Goku went Super Saiyan Blue for the first time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were all very, like, scared that this man had the power of the gods. Not only in the manga did it say that Super Saiyan Blue Vegito was as strong as Beerus is. Mm-hmm. But Goku also learned the destroy move, where he destroyed Zamasu and erased him like that. In the manga? He, sh- he learned that and just did that on Zamasu, but the only thing that stopped him was him pulling Mai through a portal in front of him, so Goku had to stop doing it. Right. Which, that's who Goku is. He learns yeah. and adapts and can... Your strength he, yeah, is yeah. my strength if I can see he's how like, much you're using it. like Nick it. Cannon in Drumline. Or like Which, Nick, by the way, <laughs> Nicholas Cage in next. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> quick, quick detour. Nick Cannon is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> quick detour. In Drumline, there's a point where like the one oh, character God. is like, "Oh, these rhythms—they're so intricate. How do you piece them together?" 
and then like the camera flips around and it's just like a bunch of like fucking eighth and sixteenth notes yeah. on a fucking yeah. piece of paper. It's super simple. Like it's it's like <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that, man? <laughs> I don't know. No, um, it's it's like the people who actually were making that movie <laughs> didn't dead. know music scales or like any Nick, sort of notes or Nick anything. Nothing at all. That's <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's be real here. Because I, I just I just know. No uh, matter no, it's it's actually the fact that they're all just really simple, easy, stupid drum lines. But and he thinks that he's like doing super awesome by like not even having to look at it. But he's still. He's but everyone, everyone else is just going, dude. What the hell are you doing? This sounds cool, but what the fuck? This is not what we have written down. <laughs> yeah, you'd be kicked out of any drum line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. You gotta that's why. That's why he's like a line. reject character in, yeah. the, in the in the movie. Yeah, but you know you gotta love him because he's the underdog man. Anyway, he's the main character. <laughs> he's the main plot, plot All armor. of Dragon Ball is just power scaling. Uh, well, like, power, power, yeah, scaling. power scaling has it's gone. Fucking, it's it's still happening. The power scaling is to the point of like Naruto. Naruto power scaling is everyone's so, powerful. So obscene. That's my point. Yeah, it, though, it, is that you can't get any further. But it's so not the power. It, it, they, <laughs> but no, they've actually tried to make that a point to, to cut it off because yeah. power levels are bullshit. Go, yeah. Goku and yeah, always, Goku yeah. and Vegeta as Saiyans have the ability to like fight and get stronger but it was also side mentioned that they are no longer capable of doing in the that. manga yeah. was that only in the manga that's only in the manga I'm sorry I get they're all in here oh, they say that they, 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 Zinkai boost stopped happening in the manga after blue yes uh, but because they've come so far they no, it yeah. wasn't even because they went blue it's because they have beat their bodies up so much especially yeah. Goku they can't take it anymore hundred times gravity pulls cheat on the way to damage oh, shit it was such a cheap way to do it. I, I'm sorry. The only reason he was strong enough to fight Frieza is because he was like, oh, I'm going to train 100 times gravity. Oh, no, I'm broken. Sensu Beam. Oh, I'm going to train 100 times gravity. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, broken. shit, I'm broken. Sensu, Sensu Beam. Beam. And he's kept right. doing that until but he was like, oh, fuck. And then, then he gets there and he's that, just like, oh, I'm all out of Sensu Beam, guys. <laughs> that displays the determination of his character to constantly. Oh, yeah, well, that's that's yeah. all Goku wants and that's is fighting, is battle. I must punch things, and then I must go to bed, and then when I wake up, I will punch but things when, again. Yeah. And that's what I'm what I'm getting at is that <laughs> when you have a series that's Love based Goku. on people constantly trying to ascend to a level you trying to, to break where their they're limits. competent. Yeah. If you break limits and break limits and break limits and break limits and break limits, eventually you're gonna get to the point where There's no more in left. like the reality that we experience. We have a demon in the room. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Falco outside. Why well, it's Falco outside? What do you mean why it's Falco outside? <whistles> no, it's a raccoon. Coon. Coon. Should have said that. Should not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you said it first, so it made it okay for me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the original topic. <laughs> oh my god. Anywho, <laughs> I, I completely agree with the. the the power mm -hmm. scaling has gotten to be a bit obscene, but now that right, but, but now their limit is, what what do these gods really matter? And that's the point yeah. of the show presently. And that's what. But I was, that's another if, facet of power scaling is because well, like, what power was, does a god really have in a world where that's I mean, the, just a guy can train hard enough to where he can punch a god in the face with him and, and it hurt. Him, yeah. Him, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just that they've reached a certain level to where they can like attain that that. Perspective, or it's also it's also a form of it, you know it's just it's just like whenever Goku reaches the, reaches to the power level that regular mortals can't sense him anymore. Yes, yeah. he, they, the, it's it's another ascension above. Right, but like, just like Be I, Beerus, Champa, and all them had to do the same thing. What I'm saying is you, know, you can't. They were they created that way. Yeah. Why would like, they? You okay. can't you can't recycle that. Well, I mean, there were that's other what, gods that's before what I, them. That's what I'm trying to. That yeah. the. They're not, they're, they're not immortal, but they're right. not immortal. But yeah. but they've reached to the point of god level by the, the getting their power right, levels right, that right. high. They were selected. Well, that's yeah. a, that's that's power scaling though, because like where do you yeah. go from there? You exactly. have to. Say, you like, become like, the that's whole thing. thing. Well, okay, so that's the thing right now. That's, okay, that's the point. Know, so yeah. you get yeah. to the point where you're just like punching a hole in like eternity. Well, well, space yeah, space. yeah. Space. and then yeah. everything is just erased. So you have to like. There is a. Dragon Ball, I think it's just a fan comic or something like that. I can't I think it was Dragon Ball X or something. Yeah. Where Goku, after uh, everything was said and done on Earth, he just left out and found this distant, uh, almost heavenly uh, place where it was literally, you weren't there to fight, he was only there to meditate, mm -hmm. to train his knowledge yep. and get to a point of meditation to where he could ascend higher uh, spiritually. 
and in doing so ended up being controlled by another uh, being that found out and knew he was the strongest and was stronger uh, mentally mentally and came in and took him over and thought I need to go find <laughs> thought, I'm gonna go find the next strongest I'm gonna kill them and he goes straight to uh, finding Vegeta and Goten who have both uh, reached Super Saiyan 3's and kills Goten in front of Vegeta hmm. and like that was a very interesting read because it's no longer about him having to like overcome this obstacle of fighting it's become about him the emotional like, reaction the emotional reaction yeah. about what's going on Just and that's the same thing with this is that Beerus and them they're not there to be the strongest they are there to make sure that their universes grow Omni King has set them up to be the people that only destroy they, they, they why are is there this to whole the, tournament happening then? because, 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 because Omni King needs to get rid the, he was originally going to erase planets the weakest of the planets yeah yeah sorry the weakest of the universe. Yeah, yeah, what, what he's doing though is just like shifting well, uh, responsibility no, away no, from himself he was, he was, by, that's called delegation yeah Origi he, he's so the captain he of, this, wanted, of this ship. He Why was originally he? 16 universes and four have already been erased. Why do you have a fighting tournament? Well, because, because it's because of Goku. It's because of yeah, Goku. Yeah, I know it's because of Goku, but it, what I'm getting at is... He was originally just going to get rid of them. So yeah. the, the universes that stand, they're all ranked right, but there's the four. The, he wants them all to grow. And when he realized that there was only these four universes that were the strongest and had grown exponentially or such, he decided that... It was too much of a hassle to worry about these other ones, so go ahead well, and wipe Why them. is his power well, limited, though, if he's <laughs> supposed to be this Omni King? The, limited. Like, what do you mean his power is limited? If he can only control so many universes. He, no, he, he, just, know, he, he can control it. the others. He just he, want, he he wants want to it. get rid of the weakest. He didn't right, want Right, but no, it's the not, idea it's, is that <laughs> if any universe has enough time, like, who's it's to not, say? It's not and the what? weakest. It's the fact that it's all it's yeah. based around intelligence, strength, and all sorts yeah, of different but, but even saying that, like, you could have periods of can differential them. growth in the timelines he, of those universes. Like, there's nothing to say right, well, that they've a universe could be time. just, like, like, stalled for as much time, and then after that would have time. a period of growth that was, like, faster than all the other and combined universes. And that's the thing, is that Universe 12 wasn't in second place until... But more recently, they just hadn't like a, like said exponential yeah, yeah. growth all of a sudden, and yeah. they became second place. And because of that, he was going to wipe them, not because he couldn't handle dealing with them. It's because he has the mind of an infant, and he th said, "I don't want to fucking deal with this anymore." The Again. one goddamn person in the universe, or the Omniverse, fucking Goku. dumber than dumber than Goku, <laughs> is, yeah. and he's the king of everything. King of everything. That's and why they're best friends. That's why they're best friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it's because. But, I guess that's another like subliminal point to the Dragon Ball universe in general. Is that Unless you think about it, the easier it is. Like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's, like, it's almost a yeah. Saitama thing. Who, who should we have run oh, all sorry. of these universes? He oh, how about this child? Yay! <laughs> right. It's like <laughs> muddling through. Can literally, often get I you literally further see than them playing to be a determined. game together, which is flipping Saitama planets. It's a very valid And destroying point. them in a universe. Like, they picked well, a universe what... to. Just destroy planet. They're like mm, that's this what one. they were doing in uh in the manga, the, the most recent chapter that was released. They were playing chess b before Goku showed up with the universes. That's why they made the decision. They were like, oh, he said, I still have five left, and he was like, you have five? That's a lot. He said, yeah. Hmm. We should get rid of some. Yeah, you're right. And then they were just going to erase yeah. the universes because they were tired of dealing with them right. in their game. That's it's just a lack of perspective in that yes. sense. I mean, and so why? But they, and that's my problem with the anime versus the manga is that they can't put this concept out there for these people because like there's so much happening yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. In the in in this, you see Beerus is actually the strongest god of destruction out of every other universe, basically, assumably. Right. Because assumably. they all go after him, target him because Goku pretty much did all this. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not because he's the strongest, because Goku's, <laughs> Goku's, Goku's a Goku's shit. A piece of shit to them. Right. And whenever Goku he continually is, is just the most irresponsible person, and that's person what he that said is that exist. he's not evil, but he's not a good guy, right? Because he's not uh, out to what, save he's, everybody. He's almost true neutral. Yeah, in that sense. yeah. Maybe no, I think he neutral. is. I think he is chaotic to true, neut yeah. to true, own, true neutral. Yeah, own chaotic tendencies. I would say. Yeah. I would say. Yes, I would say neutral. good tendencies. But in, in, in a sense, he basically saved one universe's existence because he said, "I want to fight," and they said, "Okay, the winner gets to live," and he yeah. was like. Okay, guess that's gotta be me. Right. I just I can't imagine why like 
in in all of the ineptitude we've seen out of Goku to the point where he leaves his child to be raised by a that series of the best decision he ever made. He's never kissed his wife. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was, but yeah, Gohan would not be the person he is. But if you were to observe <laughs> that from like a third party who didn't know Piccolo yes, or yeah. like anybody like that, I mean, even you knew Piccolo at the time, it's still a pretty bad <laughs> decision. Fucking, <laughs> because Piccolo wasn't like fucking yeah, he, solidified he, as a good guy he yet. just yeah. happily murdered Goku yeah <laughs> fucking shit you sure about this to, right. ki- to hey. kill Red. <laughs> oh my god and, uh, I have a question. Really, it shouldn't uh, be the special beam cannon. It should be the two birds, one stone cannon. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> how far are they in the manga, Coco? Uh, they are just starting. Like I said, they just got to the point where uh, where you would have seen Basil and Goku and Gohan and Boo. and uh, all. Oh, they're just them. in the exhibition match? Th- that is now the gods of destruction no. are all fighting. Okay. It's, it's um, replaced that. Right. Okay, so if Goku, or well, if they, they stopped the Zenkai boost in the manga... Is Goku still going to be able to attain this new form? That's a very interesting question because in the manga, you see Goku go Super Saiyan Red multiple times, not just in episode 104. Yeah. I mean, you see Vegeta season. go red and blue with each punch. Yes, back yeah. Vegeta yeah. managed to go Super Saiyan Red the by himself without the help of any other Super Saiyan. So Vegeta's better than Goku. What, what is the, what is the Ideally, essential difference between Well, that's a wrap, guys. Okay, so <laughs> red, red means that... You red is the pure god form, the Saiyan form. The blue is being is being god energy, but you are a super saiyan that is no longer built off rage, but you are now built off peace, tranquility, okay. tranquility. It's and so super that's saiyan why god going it's, it's, super it's super saiyan, saiyan god yeah. going super, super saiyan, saiyan god super saiyan, saiyan. Yeah. being peaceful with everything. That's why you had to have SSG. Does it, does it require saiyans? like a stamina? <laughs> The, it, no, it's, well, a lot, it's no. less of stamina so at that point. Energy, it's a key your more energy is then replaced with the feeling of God. And that's why Vegeta was the first one to be able to go blue form, technically, because Goku and Whis were trapped inside, a, or Goku and Vegeta were trapped inside of Whis's staff, and they sensed that they were able to sense the energy around them because that's the training that they do. Right. And they felt that they were around God energy, and they were able to transform that into themselves. And so Vegeta being able to go blue without having ever been red was outstanding as yeah. it was. But for them to go to the future and end up fighting uh, Goku Black, it showed Vegeta <laughs> going to the hyperbolic time chamber. He blew it up. <laughs> going to blow it up. He blew up another dimension <laughs> into another dimension. <laughs> yeah. So he goes back into the hyperbolic time chamber and trains and becomes Super Saiyan Red, which you have to have five other pure-hearted Saiyans with you in order to become. And so he did that all on his own and then was using the red form because it's stamina built and the blue form is strength built going back and forth and hitting a dude it shows Goku go Super Saiyan Blue for the first time against Hit well for the first time in the Universe 6-7 tournament against Hit now that they are where they uh, are it showed at the end of the Black Arc that Goku had obtained a new ability to withhold all of the God Key the blue energy flowing yeah. out is yeah. the God Key so he has at that, that point he just has that little like tiny aura around him yeah well, he has his hair. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. have he doesn't have any aura. He's no aura. Just he is holding in all that blue key that's yeah. overflowing is all inside of him, and he does the same thing that Kyle Ken does. But that's not something that they've described in the anime. Yeah, they also haven't necessarily described the Zenkai boost thing in the anime. That's like uh, yeah, whenever Roshi fucking like whenever in that one episode where he was. After, like whenever he did his like true Kamehameha wave, the one the see, absolute most powerful Kamehameha <laughs> of wave all time. of all time. That's Roshi has made the most powerful Kamehameha wave of anyone ever. Specified because Named he, he did the Hawaiian write King the damn for some book. Reason. Yeah, yeah, he's the one yeah, that made right. it. It's his. <laughs> no, whenever he did that, he. Uh, That's the other thing. But go ahead. Oh, whenever he did that, like uh, you see, you see Goku fighting that fighting the the gooey guy, and he's just oh, like knew. he's just like no, nah, get off of me, and you see the aura just go. Like, you see him turn blue, and then he leaves, yes. and then whenever it gets over to Roshi, that aura's gone, but he's still blue. Yes, he like, has... His, he knows how to do it. Whenever he went to Roshi, he was about to, like, he was trying to heal him, and he... It hit, hit him, in a way, like, the the emotional depth of his oh, there was no, There was no point in holding back at that point. Yeah, exactly. He can, I can hold back during a fight, but whenever somebody that I love is about to die... I lose it. I'm not, uh, like, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna give it everything Which, that I can. once again, is very shonen. Very, you actually oh, see Goku. You see Goku at his full <laughs> potential. No, you see Goku at his full potential whenever he's saving a friend. Yes. You never see him at his full potential until a fight that he has to go to it. And he, well, that's the thing. But there hasn't been one so far. Exactly. The last time he had that fight was with Cell. 
that yeah. was the last time I mean, he, barely. he had to have a new reason. And even then, he, he barely, realized I feel like he could have gone Super Saiyan 2 in that fight. That was yeah. the last point. He could have. He very well could have, but he Against didn't want to do it anymore. So. I really think he could have. Well, he wanted to see Gohan knew, do that. He knew that he could, he, but he knew that his son... There was kind of like a detachment there. He wanted yeah. to see his son do it. Yeah. I, I, like, I feel I, like he 100% wanted, wanted to see Gohan do The only reason I believe it. that is because in his discussion with Cauliflower, when he told her that she had the capability to go Super Saiyan 3 within the next 45 minutes, he obviously knew that that potential, that latent potential is there. I mean, you can see it. Yeah, but that's Goku's like 20 a, years later, though. Like, mm. that doesn't... Well, that's what I'm saying. He still no, but like Goku's always had that ability to be able to see... It's just, it's just like... It, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was no goddamn Super Saiyan 2 until Gohan did it. Exactly. Yeah. So Goku he, could... I mean, there, no, but Go, there was. But Go, no, there no, was. That's no. not true. There was. Goku no. has, the, the bulking up form. Oh, that's, that's not, not Super Saiyan 2. That's not Super Saiyan 2. That's, that's right. Okay. No, it is Super Saiyan 2. That's an ascended form of Super Saiyan that is improper because that's right. it doesn't it's, give it's you the speed. It's literally that in-between yeah. point. In-between is not Super Saiyan. Goku okay, so knows that true. there is another level. Goku knows that it exists. He even said that in the beginning. He said it can be done. It can be done. But this isn't the way to do it. Right. And then when he witnessed that Gohan was able to do this, like yeah. we, we were talking about, it goes back to the fact that he wanted Gohan to do it. The show was supposed to yeah. advance with Gohan. Oh, I, yeah. I, absolutely. And so that's why he gave his <coughs> life to let Gohan go ahead and do this. When he realized, I just let my 10 year old get the shit kicked out of him by but a don't big you green think monster. If Goku could have done it, he wouldn't he have done it. In no, a show I do not. No, because no, no, Majin no, Goku Buu. never does. Majin Buu, Super Saiyan 3, could have killed his fat ass, but instead yeah. he decided to say, okay, hold nah. on. Let's. Let's leave fucking boo, boo out of this. I hate that. I'm, oh, saying, that, I'm saying that if Goku absolutely knows he can beat somebody, he will often that's decide the, not to. That's the problem because, with Saiyans. They yeah. refuse to use their full potential, potential at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Yep. And that's in the last, in the like very yeah. latest episode. That, yeah, that's, that, that, they say that, that in the episode. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, He's you like, gotta oh, go hard I don't, at the beginning. I don't understand why you even do that. Right. Like, because I can never comprehend why you would. And that's what this... Preponderance of evidence, there's no reason to believe that Goku could have gone Super Saiyan 2 before there's he... Right. It's, it's in the fight. True. It's yeah, in yeah. the fight that it would end up happening. It, no, he, I, I agree with up. you that he. there's no if reason Go, to assume Goku that Goku would have. But if Goku could, would have kept... Could, or even could have. If Goku but. would have kept fighting Cell, it, some shit would have still ended up happening to his friends. Yes. They would have, if, if, and, and that's so, what, okay, that, but, that could have been the catalyst. We didn't have we didn't have that. So without that catalyst, yeah, oh, no Gohan got assume. that catalyst yeah. so instead of Goku. I'm not saying that it's impossible. Obviously, Goku I mean, can go Super just, Saiyan too. I'm saying that in the context of how it happened, Goku standing there couldn't have just stepped in and been like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go Super Saiyan. They right. would not have that yeah, ability. Yeah. Well, I feel they like were, Goku's yeah. dumbass just. Well, uh, he could have though. They were completely evenly matched. Not without a catalyst. He, yeah. he, he would, they were. So they, he in, would have in the plot, that though, you can't assume that Gohan he would have been exactly. able to Gohan yeah. couldn't assume. without a catalyst either. It, well, no shit. Right. But that, it happened. You're right. But that's what. Yeah. The, that's what. It would have happened either way. No, you don't know that. You're making a bunch of assumptions. That's the same thing. Yes. The. He could have been Goku and Vegeta teaming up to take down Cell. Yeah, you don't fucking the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Right. Also, the fact that they agreed to the <laughs> tournament in itself. I think yes, it's it, kind so of a step away my, from my it. biggest thing. That he gave up. He just withdrew from the fight and, yeah. and wasn't even he worn wasn't, out about it. Yeah. But get lets himself get hurt whenever it comes to the Cell Blues. He's getting the shit kicked yeah. out. Yeah. Go on. He wants to. He wants to see. You have to do this. He needs. Yeah. His He's obviously stronger than tiny person. cells. Like little cell oh, right. Yeah. But, yeah, but he, he they yeah. were completely evenly matched and he, he could have given in and just let that power become his, but he yeah. wanted his son to have it. I mean, I he think the last time that you honestly had like that emotional thing of driving driving Goku was honestly Krillin. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 In both Dragon Ball and Z. Yeah. 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 He wasn't emotionally invested in the cell fight beyond like, ooh, it's someone strong to fight, but there wasn't like and I didn't yeah. that. Like, and he knew yeah. he could beat him, so he was bored. I didn't feel, and you haven't had that feeling again until Dragon Ball Super when he fought against Goku. Well, then Cell would. Well, okay, so yeah. the, the understanding. Frieza's, Frieza's fucking brutal. The understanding yeah. for for the Cell, motivation is what I'm like. What you gotta look at. In Cell. This instance. Well, okay. I feel so, like Cell would have a, a clearer head about it and less, uh, less yeah, of a. Because he's less emotionally attached. Cell, yeah. Frieza gets offended whenever. Cell, the only yeah. thing Cell wants is to kill be Goku. Be perfect. He That's wants to it. be perfect. Okay, be perfect so, and kill yeah, Goku. Yeah. Yeah. His mission was to be perfect and <coughs> kill Goku. And yeah. that being said, though, the reason that Frieza had a problem was is the same fucking reason that Vegeta has a problem with Goku. Because he's stronger than him. And he wants to be stronger than him. And so, how else is he supposed to become stronger than him other than fighting him and being wished back to life. I, I think it's more than they're stronger than him. I think it's the fact that he's a monkey. 
and he's trying to get <laughs> like, That's a very valid point. Like, I don't think he has... I mean, obviously he has an issue with with Beerus being stronger than him, but it doesn't eat at him the way that Goku being no, stronger than he, him No, but he has a sense of understanding. Because he's a goddamn yeah. Saiyan. Kind of yes. xenophobia, yeah. Yeah. species, yes. kind of weird stuff going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he's a weird... I mean, so, like, Frieza himself is actually born of, like, a, a god and uh, King Cold. King, what, what, King, what is King that King whole Cold. race? What is that race? Frieza race. Right, Frieza what are they race. called? Well, okay, so Frieza, <laughs> it, Frieza <laughs> is actually race. a mutant. Frieza is the... Because... Okay. Because Frieza was born of King Cold and a god, he is... He's for sure right, but what is King Cold? Yes, what is, is King is Cold, it? then? King Cold is, a, is a part of the Frieza race. Nobody else looks like Frieza when he goes into his They're presence. called Frieza race. Frieza was able to go... That's what they're referred to in Xenoverse. Is they're referred to as Frieza race. There might be an actual name for I'm not sure uh, about it. So. I know. That yeah, it's called Frieza yeah. race. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's the same. Really it's it's the that's same, really hard to perceive. It's the same reason why all the boos that exist in the... Multiverse are all called Majin. Majin, okay. And Majin is Majin. It was a magician. It's the power. Yes, that makes that makes sense because it's the power of Bobby. But Majin is is demon. Like that that makes sense of of Majin. Like that's not his. Majin can be reproduced. Yeah, yes, but that's to refer to as a race. Yeah, Yeah, that that makes more sense than Frieza race. Yes, also very true. (laughs) Yeah, okay, but. And to move all, beyond and, universes and, the, and have it I mean, called the okay. Frieza race. And, and if you came sense. from Frieza Planet 412, you're going to be a Frieza race person, right? <laughs> right well, but it's only called that because he comes no, yeah. no, they still have their own race type. Right. Nope, not yeah. anymore. Or their own, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> their own species. And, and according to the uh, expanded lore of heroes, universe, and yes. fusions and everything, the Majin race... Boo is the progenitor of the mod. Of yes, the he is, mm-hmm. and the universe so, two is yeah. He gives so birth if, to all of them. I mean, even if you want to call them the Boo race, that's still that's still valid. And if Frieza was the father, mother, what the fuck, but ever, like, but like, of <laughs> all the Frieza's, they ain't call them Frieza race. But but you don't. Okay, so Kid Boo is a Boo's original form, but Majin Boo is what he ended up becoming because he was controlled no, no, by. No, 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 he absorbed the no, one, no, no. the Kai. He is always Kai. He is always he was Mai. created. He, by, was, yeah. he was. He was. <laughs> Now I'm confused and I need food. Uh, Fucking shit. <laughs> Why did that make me hungry? God damn it. Uh, I feel it's the same thing with the ice cream, right? Please, <laughs> I guess I've only had one meal today. And then Welcome like back again. Uh, so, sorry guys for all the technical difficulties. There have been a few problems we with were just our technically cameraman. Difficult. Cameraman's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, what a him. fucking asshole. Yeah, Wes Anderson. Piece yeah, of worst guy ever. <laughs> Michael hell, Bay. Forever, Too much camera shake. Ran. We had to get rid of a lot of the footage. I have Ran. a flotilla of cocks. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I like to your say a, a, a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus of cocks? A sarcophagus of cocks. Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. That's like your gaggle of geese. That's your grouping. Not to derail this A sarcophagus of cocks. Because it's all just... We may not have enough memory. <laughs> so, 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 just come on, let's for it. Here we, here's where so, we need to be. I am not really sure what I would like to see them take from the manga and put in the anime, but as far as I'm concerned, it's too far. The power level, the 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 idea of him being Super Saiyan Blue, and the idea of him being the new whatever they're calling it, right. uh, Silver Eyed Saiyan. Mm. Is I really hope they don't call it that. <laughs> the silver eyed sand. I really hope they go with something other than just like something, something sand. Uh, some no. silver eyed blue hair S- dragon. Yeah. S S G S S J S S S. Super Saiyan. No, no. S S. Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan. S S G S S. S S E. Or S. Yeah. Yeah. Silver eyes. Longest boat name ever. But I would like. I would like to see them incorporated into the manga, but I doubt that they will in such a hurried way. Right. Like the the way it is now, he's strong enough with all that energy held in inside of him to be almost exactly the same strength as him to use with Vegeta. Yeah. And in blue form, so I would like to see him manage to be silver and do what he needs to do and then just not bring in the whole him holding in all that blue ki or maybe that's what happens is that he is holding in all that blue ki to a perfected form I don't right. know hmm. I just want to see it happen because <laughs> I was like the manga is actually what got me into Dragon Ball and Z in the first place mm-hmm. like I saw Dragon Ball mangas were amazing yeah they are um like 
way back in the day, um, on Sunday mornings, like I think UPN would show there'd be an episode or two of Pokemon, and then there was like an episode of Dragon you Ball. You say UPN is WB. No, it's UPN. The WB did Pokemon. Yeah, but they own they yeah. owned UPN too. They're like their well, si- their they... sister sister network. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Kids okay. WB had it was they were reruns. They weren't new right. episodes. The Universal Postal Network, of course. And everybody, everybody knows that. Yeah. And so that was <laughs> that was the first time I saw it. Was I'm pretty sure it was it was Dragon Ball, the original thirteen episodes that Pioneer mm-hmm. did. Um, oh. And then I read. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. And then I read the the manga and that was like my my attachment so like my core for for dragon ball has always been been the manga like i like the pacing better like yeah, everything's it's just very very well yeah. done yeah it's, it's a much very, more detail it's more detailed mm-hmm. it's it's basically it's, like any movie it's yeah like, it's what yeah. you and it's what you need like there's a lot especially when you get to z there's a lot of fucking filler mm-hmm. oh yeah um and that's the thing i have probably have with supers like Dude. i want to read the manga and I, what I've read the manga, I enjoy, honestly, probably more than I like the anime. But in difference to before where, you know, the manga is the Bible. Mm-hmm. And if the anime contradicts it, then, no, the manga is, you right. know, superior. Right. Now it's, well, I like this version of it better. I like this version no. of it better. Like, and right. that's, you know, like, I wish that they were more consistent with well, each other. Well, because the thing is that they developed a storyboard oh, yeah. for, for the current arc of Super. Yeah. Tori- before they... Probably even dove into where it was going. <laughs> uh, which one has the poison? Uh, they, yeah. So like the uh, the original idea, you know, whenever uh, the first I can't <laughs> <got her. laughs> uh, it's never challenging. Inconceivable. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> they they had the idea for this all back whenever they announced the Battle of the Gods movie. This was where it was supposed. Everybody knew it's supposed to be twelve universes supposed to fight twelve gods of destruction. It's supposed to be nuts, but you know, obviously it was. Misconceived or whatever, yeah, yeah. but the current arc is what Toriyama wanted. Yep. But he's he doesn't have the complete creative control over the storyboard that he needs to, and that's why you have. Well, he doesn't want to. That's why he has somebody else drawing yeah. the manga for him. But he's still the storyteller. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, Tori Toriyama gives his basic outline and treatment. Yes. To. Toyotaro and Toei, and they both go off in their separate directions. And Toyotaro does the manga, mm-hmm. and Toei does the anime. And they don't really cross paths with each other, and they do their own thing with his. Yeah, basic they all idea. they all reach the same place, but they all get there differently. And so if you can if you can distill it down to like what is the core things that both of them share? Right. Those are the things they inherited from Toriyama, and that's what you can say is absolute word of God canon. Other than that, it's God. Yeah. Well, there's no, yeah. Other than that, it's what's Nerf Fujita. Yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> in the universe. Like, you, uh, yeah, he has no meaning. <laughs> he is the old king. Getting. Uh, Toriyama's just a child. Getting back to. Uh, Charles. Clark's my daughter. To. Ro- <laughs> to you mentioned Roshi. And it just brings up something we discussed, I think, yesterday. Yeah, because after I watched the uh, new episode. Gohan needs his own goddamn gi. Mm. So uh, bad. Yeah. Yeah. So bad. That, or he's, at least Piccolo's gi instead of Goku's. Yeah, yeah. he's not a, he he's never not a gets, fucking yeah. troll student. He, he just trained not. under, Go, er, he under needs, Piccolo. He needs a Piccolo gi that has Piccolo's, the demon symbol on the back, mm-hmm. like classic yeah. uh, yep. of King like Piccolo Dragon style. Yeah. yeah, Like and when he had, when he That would be so out. cool. That would that be, that would be so yeah. cool. Because that's his teacher and he needs to hold the emblem. You know what I mean? And so if he had that demon sign on him, I would be like, dude, you are so fucking cool. Yeah, that purple outfit and everything. Oh, yeah. No, um, that would be perfect Gohan. That would look so much better on yeah. Gohan than when, the actual... When exactly did he switch to the Roshi? He, uh, he it was a Boo saga. It was Boo saga. Boo, whenever he went Ultimate Gohan, he was like, well, I've been training with my dad with this big-ass sword. Uh, it's the most time we've ever spent together. So which, I'm what a fucking middle finger to the audience. That oh, yeah. Oh, you like on. Piccolo? Fuck, he's just a stepdad. Yeah, no, just a sword in general. Man, I can't wait to see oh, that. Like, I can't wait to see yeah. that in a bridge. Like, I hated that. Yeah. That was yeah. that was all bullshit. That, that was just a reason for them to bring Goku back to life. Yeah, do we have time know. to talk about how much I hate the Boo Saga? <laughs>